Okay, everyone, welcome to a first tutorial video on how to create user accounts on the Endless operating system. We are using the SecureBook Notebook, and we are going to log in as JAdmin. Now, these two accounts you see here are both administrator accounts. These have the same password, and these are only to be used by the administrators of the facilities or the classrooms. So with JAdmin, I enter the password which by default for both of these accounts is justice1, all lowercase, um, but your uh, IT team may have changed those passwords. You don't wanna give those passwords out to any of the learners. So I'm signing in, and it'll take a few seconds here, but eventually the endless operating system will appear, and you'll be given um, a series of options to create new user accounts. So we are logged in here, and down in the bottom right corner, we can click on this, and we can see that we're logged in as jadmin. Now you can either click settings or you can type in this great universal search bar here, the word users. You can type in here users and this will give you the option to add or remove users. Or you can go through the settings tab, which we like clicking here and here. And you'll open the settings tab. And here you're on the users. So the first thing you need to do is actually unlock the user section. So this will again ask you for your password and type it in. And now this um, blue button appears, which allows you to add a user. So you click the Add User button, and you always want to add standard users. So I'm going to add our first user with the name Frank. Um, user accounts are best set up with a lowercase alphabet character. That's A through Z in lowercase is our recommendation. And you'll see why a little bit later. But I, I like to set the password now, and then I can add a little note in case someone forgets the password. And that's really it. Your user account is created. There is also a feature here where you can scroll down and select to restrict certain applications. So if you have some users and you don't want them on any of these um, applications, you can come here and you can just toggle this. And this turns off the application for that user. I'm going to go ahead and create a few more users just so that I can show you some of the, the additional features of the system. Set a password now. And I've added a second user. So you can go through this process with as many users as you want on the laptop. Next, we'll show you how to manage some of the user's content. 